from Petco Park in downtown San Diego. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Miami Marlins and the San Diego Padres. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to roll. Today's starting pitcher, you Darvish. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Now it's the DH, Jorge Soler on the corner for a strike and away we go this afternoon lifted in the air right center field Tatis drifts towards it hauls it in for the out Luis Arise stands in that hits the dirt 1-0 Darvish, who's played for the Rangers, Dodgers, Cubs, and Padres, but he's been an all-star in both leagues, Singy. An all-star and a fan favorite has really become an endeared player to the Padres fans there. They've got a mural painted of him somewhere in the city. Up the middle, and that one finds its way through. And that gives Jazz Chisholm Jr. a chance to hit with two out. So two down, Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. In there for strike one. is that one left for Miami and now the Padres get their first opportunity welcome back and on the hill in this one Sandy Alcantara last year's Cy Young Award winner of the National League singing well, Book, he was healthy last year and gained a tremendous amount of confidence. He took a big step forward last season. I think he'll take another one this season. Now the throw to first on the run. One up, one down. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Swings here and blasts one left field. That one is gone. He sends it out of here. His 21st of the year, it's 1-0. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. One down. Here's Juan Soto. Hit hard, base hit. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Here's Manny Machado. That's towards center. Chisholm moving under this one. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two down. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. Oh. 
That one out to right. And that's the inning. The Padres get one in the inning with a solo blast. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Second inning set to go. And now for the Marlins, Jake Berger. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Chris, you Darvish debuted with the Rangers back in 2012. It's been a pretty successful big league career. He's been an all-star multiple times and a guy with all those pitches. He gives Pitchcom a run for its money, I think you'd say. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And there's one away. Well, that's the effect of the splitter that you're looking for on the mound. Really nice pitch right there and had him out in front over the top. I'm sure the batter was thinking he was getting something else, perhaps a fastball with a little more straight and velo to it. So up next, Brian De La Cruz. Yeah, I remember when he came into the league and talking about seven, eight pitches that this guy had. And, wow, you're just scratching your head. If you're a hitter, what do you look for? That one ball. off the mark. Ball one. One ball, one strike. This one in the air right field pulls it down and there's two gone. Jesus Sanchez digs in now. And first offering is fouled off. Called strike right there. On the ground to third. Over to Cooper. Marlins set down in order. And one, two, three go to Marlins. And it remains one nothing. Back here at Petco Park. Bottom of the inning. Here's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. The pitch. Lined, and that's a base hit. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Over to Wendell. There's one. To first, double play. And it goes 1-6-3. Great job on the mound, fielding his position and making a good throw to second to get the double play started. Far too often, we see pitchers have a hard time with that throw, but no issues right there. That's good practice paying off in a game and resulting in two big outs. Ripped on a line to center. Chisholm right there to make the grab. That is the inning. We play. Back here in San Diego, and now the shortstop, Joey Wendell. Darvish back to work. Lined, and that's a base hit. Jacob Stallings now. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, three, and they turn the double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Solaire stands in now and watches strike one. 
Soler, a powerful designated hitter, hitting leadoff in today's game. And he was born in Cuba. In the air, right field. And it stays fair. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in. But he's in there easily. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now here is Luis Arias. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. They say it went. The 0 2. That smash towards center. And that will end the inning. Marlins leave one. They're down 1 0. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Alcantara goes six feet five inches, 27 years old, and of course, he's the reigning. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Flip to the pitcher is in time. He keeps his composure and they get the out. Stepping in for San Diego, Ha Sung Kim. He's 0 for 1. On the ground is short. In plenty of time to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. He's already homered here in this one. That one ripped. This one's got a chance. Out of here. He blasts one out to center. His second home run of the game. It's 2 nothing. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. So two away with nobody on. And now it's Juan Soto. That one's on its way. No question about it. And that one will go. Juan Soto goes deep. His 150th career homer. And they add to their lead. It's 3-0. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ballpark. Two outs, space is empty. Manny Machado getting ready to hit. Smash to the left side. Wendell fires over to first. Machado out of the play third out but the long ball was working in this inning not once but twice it's now three nothing you're watching major league baseball on the show and welcome back and here's the first baseman josh bell well after scoring runs this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning get that hot team back in there to swing the bats Popped up to the left, into foul ground, and no one could get to it. It's a foul ball. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back. Oh, this one high and deep, way back there. And that one's gone. He'll touch them all. That's career homer number 149. And they inch closer. It's 3-1. 
Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. And stepping in is the speedy Jazz Chisholm Jr. Hit hard. That gets through. Up next for the Marlins. And up next for Miami, Jake Berger. Berger. First oh. pitch, and he just misses. One -oh. Chisholm gets his lead at first with nobody out. Yep. And it's even up. 1-1. One -one. And that's in for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. And a base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. He was all over that one. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. And at the plate for Miami, Brian De La Cruz. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1 to 0. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. Check swing, appeal to first. And yes, he did. He went around. The 1 1. And a foul ball. First and second here, no outs. The one two. He goes down looking. You know, splitters aren't thrown by a ton of pitchers, and one of the main reasons is that they're difficult to control. And not many guys can spot them consistently where they want to, but he's one of those exceptions. He's found a way to corral a split, and he can place it on a dime just like he did right there. These guys have been very aggressive early in the count, but when you're down, you might want to be a little more patient, take some pitches, see if you can extend those at-bats and get some base runners off. Got him looking. Now two out. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's an at-bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Here's Joey Wendell. Just missed. Off the mark there. And now 2-0. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. That's a base hit. Jazz on his horse coming around third. He'll score easily, and they trail by one. Big time at bat right there. Comes through, and they're back within a run. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Two on, two outs. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now, Xander Bogarts. And the pitch. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Chisholm under this one. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's one down. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. Picked up a base hit to center his first time up. Into the outfield, base hit. Run around at first with one gone. Gary Sanchez at the plate. 0 for 1 so far. Rolled to short, possible two ball. 
Wendell to second, and their second double play of the day will end the fourth. New inning getting started. Jorge Soler up at the plate. The wind of the pitch. That one finds the zone. 0 and 1. And a base hit on a line. Well, that may end up being an at bat we go back to later on when this game is over. Really stayed inside that baseball to send it to the opposite. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. And first offering is fouled off. There's the swing and a miss. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. On the ground, two ball. On a Cronenworth. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. And now the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. He's already homered in this game. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Ripped on the ground a second. Gets it to first. And that will end the inning. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. The wide to kick the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, the game plan for this offense has been pretty clear. They're being aggressive at the plate, but still finding ways to pick their spots without falling into the habit of being over-aggressive. So far, six hits on the first pitch alone. That tells you something. De La Cruz hauls it in, and there's one away. And, you know, it's always interesting to see how teams attack the first pitch. What's their plan of attack going to be? Well, for this offense in this game, they're not waiting around. Flying drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. So digging in now for San Diego, Ha Sung Kim. And first offering is fouled off. And he'll one. And a rope into center field base hit. Lead runner around second into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Back-to-back -back base hits. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Grisham on third. Kim at first. One gone. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. One run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play. It's 5-2. And he's got a two-run triple. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day. And a nice job of turning that one around. Juan Soto now. Hit an absolute tape measure shot last time up. ripped and this one could be extra bases the run scores from third it's 6-2 safe at second with a double third hit for him this afternoon that's two consecutive extra base hits for these guys pretty much just a textbook double into the gap and when you can drop one in there between the outfielders you know you're making the turn at first just an excellent swing Now the Marlins manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move to the pen. Sandy Alcantara won't go any further, and the home run really bit him today as he exits on the hook for the loss. New Pitching change here, number 62. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right-handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. Here's Manny Machado now. Machado out of the play. And here is Xander Bogarts. Bogarts. 
Bounce to third. Gathers and throws to first. And that is the inning. He's on four hits, no errors, and one left on. Back here at Petco Park. All set for the top of the sixth. Here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Jazz Chisholm Jr. You know, these Marlins doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. They've done a great job finding holes in the defense. Exactly half of their hits have come off the bat less than 90 miles per hour. So the ball isn't exactly jumping off the lumber, but they're finding a way to make it work. Swing and a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. And a one-two. And now two and two. It's a good take. There's a swing and a drive. That's back. And it's gone. An absolutely majestic shot. And they cut into the deficit. It's 6-3. Well, Boo, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Berger in the box again. Takes the strike. One for two. The next pitch misses. Yeah, the count even one and one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. One ball, and now the count strikes. one and two after the swing and the miss. Got him swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Now and now for the Marlins, Brian De La Cruz. De La Cruz, in his second season, 26 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Nice grab. Wow, that was an awesome leaping catch. Great reactions, great athleticism, and he snatched that thing out of the air, and he robbed him of a base hit. He swings and fouls one off. Now the 0-1. That one down the line. And that is that. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. And they've doubled up now. It's 6-3. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in San Diego. Bottom of the sixth inning. Stepping in for San Diego. Jake Cronenworth. And he deals. And first offering is fouled off. Jake Cronenworth, a Michigan kid. He played at the University of Michigan. Rays took him in the 15 draft in the seventh round. Grew up playing a, a lot of hockey. Eventually made his big league debut with the Padres. Chris, he's been an all-star twice. And that one is lifted in the air. Sanchez ranging after it. Calls it in, and there's one away. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. There's Gary Sanchez. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And that's going to roll to the wall. Natalie turns and heads for second. And that's a two-bagger. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. When you see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. 
And here is out towards right center field. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. And a run comes in to score. He puts a great swing on that pitch and drives home the run. And that was always going to be a double, but the bounce over the wall just took the guesswork out of it right away. It was a nice swing. Trent Grisham, the next up for the Padres. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. Knocks it down. Cooper around third. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores. So the batting order turns over. Next is the designated hitter, Ha Sung Kim. On the ground, could be two. There's one, but safe at first. It's a fielder's choice. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Line drive, base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double, second and third now. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. And, man, I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good. It's feedback that you had everything on time and in control from start to finish with your swing. Soto, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. But in time, nice job to stay with it to end the inning. So it's two runs on four hits. No errors and a couple left on. We're through six full. It's the Padres eight and the Marlins three. All set for the start of the inning. And at the plate for Miami, Joey Wendell. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. Next one misses. Now one and two. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. Manager out of the dugout and Robert Suarez on to pitch here. He last pitched two days ago. Right-hander kicks, deals, popped up. Machado makes the grab one away. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Next offering misses, and the count is one and one. And a big swing and a miss. One, two. One, two now. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Here's a one, two. On the ground to the left. Machado throws the first in time. And two away to start the seventh. Now here is Jorge Soler. Beautiful swing in his last at bat. Opposite field knock. 
First That's offering misses the mark. One ball, no strike. And a swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. The next one offering two. misses. Two and Two one. Ball. One strike. Ground ball up the middle. Cronenworth throws on to first. That ends the frame. Nothing doing for the Marlins. Can't chip away at an 8-3 deficit. Welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now it's Manny Machado. And the pitch. And Manny gets a piece. Righty to the plate. That one hammered center field. That's back there. Gone. All muscle to center field. Homer number 25 of the year, and they add a run. It's 9-3. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. I thought for a second he brought it back out there too. Gave it a great effort, but you know those plays are so tough to pull off. And I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. The pitcher on here, Ryan Hoeing. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. It's Xander Bogarts now. In the air, right side. Sanchez gets under it. And there's one down. Now back, second Jake base Cronenworth, base. the next up for the Padres. Cronenworth. That one is absolutely belted. That's down. One hops off the wall. Around second now, going for three. The relay in there safely. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Came screaming off the bat, I'm sure. Exit velocity is off the charts. No doubt he squared that baseball up perfectly. So there was no fluke to that triple by any means. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Swings through that one for strike two. In today's game, you look at exit velocity as a measure of process, and if guys are hitting the ball hard. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. And that one is gone. Clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. And now here is Garrett Cooper. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. And out of here! A towering shot to center, and they tack one on the board. It's 12-3. Good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Righty reliever out of the pen, Jorge Lopez. Well, he struggled quite a bit, so this is another opportunity to get on the right track. He's given up more than one hit per inning pitch so far this season. Wendell. The throw to first, that takes care of Grisham. And now the D.A.
H. Hassung Kim. Bounce to the left side. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. Well, an error like that, you look at the scoreboard and you kind of wonder if these guys are losing focus out there. And look, it, it can be tough to stay locked in when you're getting blown out. We've all been there. And I'm not saying that's definitely what happened on this play, but it's not a great look. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Chisholm drifts towards it. Puts the squeeze on it. And the inning is over. But the we go to the eighth. And now for the Marlins, Luis Arias. Suarez back to work. Just missed. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he don't. Lays out and makes the play. Just a great job of concentration there as he leaves the ground to go airborne to make a diving catch. That's a tough play, but he got the job done. Bell, batting with one down, takes a strike. So the Padres with a new arm in the mound, Luis Garcia. Well, he's been excellent against left-handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup. And now it's even up. Brown ball to the right side. Sneaks through, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Jazz Chisholm Jr., the next to hit. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. There's a strike. That's in there, and it's not again two. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. Bell leads off first with one away. Next offering is fouled back. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. And now Jake Berger, one for three. In the air out to center. Grisham trying to get there. Makes a nice run of catch. And that ends the inning. One left for Miami. They're down. Back here at the ballpark. Now the left fielder, Juan Soto. The pitch. Hard ground ball, base knock. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Chisholm drifts towards it. Makes the catch for the out. The batter, number two. Man at first. Here's Xander Bogarts. That one fouled off. Bogarts, who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. On the ground. Bogarts retired. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. Oh, he gloves it. Gathers and throws. Nicely done for the out. 
We go to the ninth. And at the play for Miami, Brian De La Cruz. So Josh Hader gets the call to the mound. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Here comes a pitch. Hader goes no, five feet, 11 inches. He features a two-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. Sanchez at the plate now. That's ball one. There's a strike. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. That's off the mark. Two balls and a strike. Left-hand hitter waits. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. One down, base is empty. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and it's one and one. He's been great in this one. Eye-hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. And a pitch. Up the middle. Oh, what a stop. The stretch at first, but he beats it. Almost a fantastic play there. A nice diving play at second. Gave it a great effort, but I was just impressed by the hustle down the line to beat the throw. That was a fun play. Great stuff, guys. Stallings. The next to hit takes ball one. And another ball. Wendell, the runner at first with two gone. And he grounds one to the right side. Dives and he can't hang on. Throw to first, ball game. And the Padres slug their way to a win in this one. Well, when you win by nine runs, you have plenty of insurance runs. It's a huge confidence boost when you can just put that many runs up on the board. And I'll tell you what, the next game starter is saying, hey, I hope you guys save some runs for me. I want to get a win as well. And your final, 12-3. to three. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.
time of the ball game.